before even serving God. What? Pratamam tu gurum pujam tatastaiva mamartanam. It is stated that before worshipping God even, one should serve Guru. So Krishna, you are giving us instructions in religious principles, so you are our Guru. So we should stay here and serve you first. This is more important. Braj Gopi said, Chitam sukhena bhavata paritam griheshu. O Sri Krishna, we were very chitam sukhena. We were happy in how our uh, doing our household chores. But you, uh, by your beautiful qualities and the sound of your flutes, you stole our hearts. You stole our chitta, our consciousness. So you know that our senses, our arms and legs, our eyes and ears, they don't work unless they are connected with the consciousness. If, you are, if someone is speaking, you have ears, you are not deaf, but your mind has wandered somewhere else. Then when the mind comes back, say, oh, excuse me, what did you say? Because though the ears are there, they don't work unless the chitta is there. So Braj Gopi said to Krishna, you have stolen our chitta. So our legs, they don't work. You told us to go home. But our legs, they cannot go because we have no chitta. First you should give us back our chitta. Sinchanga nasta dadaramrita pura kena. O Sri Krishna, by the sound of your flute, by your beautiful smiles, you have ignited a fire within our hearts. And this fire is so vast, it can only be extinguished by a flood of nectar. And where is that flood of nectar? Oh, that is only in your lips. So either you should put out our fire of devotion to you by a flood of nectar from your lips, or otherwise in the fire of separation, we will give up our bodies. And just like any yogi who gives up his body in fire, then he will go to the, his destination that he is meditating on. So like yogis, we will give up our bodies in the fire of separation and anyway, by meditating on you, we must attain you. So either you agree to meet with us or anyway we will uh, get our desired goal. In this way, Raj Gopis, they told Sri Krishna, you told us that we should follow religious principles, that we should not go against religious principles. But this is not our fault that we apparently we have gone against all religious principles. Why? It's the fault of your flute. Sri Krishna, when you play upon your flute, then everything changes its dharma. The birds that usually fly here and there restlessly, they become like sages meditating. The cows who only know about eating, they stop chewing and they meditate on you. The trees that don't move, they are still, they begin to tremble in ecstasy. So every moving and non-moving living entity changes its dharma. So if we have given up our dharma, don't blame us. This is not our fault. This is your fault, Sri Krishna. So hearing all these astonishing arguments, counter-arguments from Brady Gopis, Krishna had spoken ten verses to tell the Gopis to return to their homes. And Gopis spoke eleven verses to explain to Krishna why they should stay and he should accept them. Then Sri Krishna, who really, he did not want them to return, but rather he wanted to do some Bhagavilas, some games of uh, joking words with them. Then Sri Krishna began to laugh and accept them, and they began the Rasalila. And then Rash began. What is Rash? Rasha. Rash means Sugar plus water. This worldly rasa. And here, hmm, a mood of uh, some sentiments by coming by dancing and singing hmm, with Krishna coming. Hmm. So Krishna is enjoying all these rushes there. So it is rush. Eat some ladies and one male. male will dance each other by keeping their hands. Then it is called rush. Still in India some places it is. But really here Krishna is Supreme Lord. 
गोपीज आर हिज ह्लादिनी शक्ति और इट्स मैनिफेस्टेशन तो दे बोथ कृष्ण इन ज्वाइंग एंड इन ज्वाइंग कृष्ण वेरी हैप्पी एंड सी कृष्ण हैप्पी द गोपीज मोर हैप्पी इन दिस वे देयर हैप्पीनेस गोज अप एंड अप आफ्टर दैट ऑल द गोपीज they saw that krishna is dancing with me only then they became oh they were thinking that we are most fortunate than anyone even radhika and other but because krishna is giving up all the gopis and dancing with me so they thought oh we are very saubhagyavati more than anyone and radhika seeing this oh she had ma when i see towards me krishna is here and when i see to them oh krishna dances with them so they are and myself are not equal he you to tell that you are most beloved very most beloved so ma came so ras like a stop krishna thought huh? i will have to pacify radhika please and take up her mom and so bhagya mother the gopi so think hmm, that radhika is most high most beloved of krishna they should realize especially in this krishna when left krishna did not disappear alone first he saw that radhika is giving up this ras and he she had done man and she did not she is not here then krishna also disappeared with radhika it had been told that radhika was with krishna and that is why he had told anya radhito nunam bhagavan hari rishwar janno bihai gobinda prito yamane this this lady has vasit narayan and by that she has been most beloved that krishna alone took that lady and has gone from here then there what sobhagamat went down and after that she radhika he decorated her hair and he flattered so many things excuse me i will not do again this <laughs> and then radhika satisfied and so many things after that krishna saw that if radhika and gopis are not here how rash so he disappeared with radhika then they began to lament what we can after no tum bolte par you you can फास्टल I may may be my humble obeisances and the lotus feet my paramarad guru pad padma om vishnu pad astotar satasimad bhakti vedanta slava mandas sang maharaj and om vishnu pad paribrajaga charya varja astotar satasimad bhakti vedanta slava narayan gosai maharaj i pay my all respect to all vishnavas and vishnavis who assembled here 
Relation Hari Katha from Sila Gurudev, Lotus Leaves, headed by Tridhali Sannasis. So, as you have heard from Sila Gurudev, that when Radhika became sulky mood, and Radhika saw, oh, always Krishna flattered with me that I am his most beloved. And when I look towards me, then Krishna next to me, and when I look towards Chandra, Saiva, Padma, Bhadra, all with them, I am, is, am, I, am I equal to them? So he is a liar. So I will not be here anymore. So Radhika became sulky and walked out from there. And why it happened? As before, Srila Vishwanjana Thakura has told, once Radhika during joking to told Krishna, Oh Krishna, I want to see that you will dance with all gopis along with me in same time. To fulfill Radhika's desire, Krishna did so. But due to influence of Yogamaya, Radhika forgot all these things that he told us before. And gopis, when Krishna dancing with them, and they not look towards other gopis, like Radhika saw, they thought, oh, we are most fortunate. No one is equal to me. So they became so far, they have so far the mod. So when they so far the mod, especially Radhika became sulky. So Krishna, how continue last dance? So what happened? Prasamaya, prasadhanaya, taktai vankar dhiyate. So Krishna want to break their Subhadva moth and want to prasadhan Radhika, to make please to Radhika. So Krishna disappeared from that place. And he searching Radhika and he found Radhika and both of them walk out from Ras dance. When all of a sudden, Rajan stops, then all gopis, oh, what happened? Where is Krishna? Where is our beloved? All are searching Krishna. But no one is looking towards Radhika. Why? Because there are one billion gopis are there. And Krishna alone. So we look towards other gopis. And Krishna is the main center of Ras dance. So they are searching Krishna. Although, Krishna is not Raseshwar. Srimati Radhika is Raseshwari. Means Radhika is the empress of Ras dance, but Krishna is not emperor. The gopis, they are searching Krishna, but when they are searching, they found so many footmarks, footprints. In Krishna's footprints, there are disc, lotus, barley, goat, so many things are there. And when they are searching, and next to Krishna's, in between Krishna's footprint, there is another little smaller footprint there. There were so many auspicious marks. Who is Radhika's group? There are four groups are there. Sapaksha, Vipaksha, Tatastha and Suritpaksha. Sapaksha means Radhika's own party. Vipaksha means Radhika's against party means Chandravali. Surit means not completely towards Radhika. But friendly karmi Radhika, they are Srit to Radhika. And Tatastha means who is Srit to Chandravali, they are Tatastha for Radhika. And who is Srit for Chandravali, they are Tatastha for Radhika. They are searching. Seeing that another footprints, Lalita, Visaka, etc., they became extremely happy. But other groups, Tatastha, Srit Paksha, and Vipaksha, they could not figure out whose footprint is there. So they uttered one slok, Anaya Radhito Nunam, Bhagavan Hari Rishthara, Janno Vihaya Govinda, Prithuja Manaya Draha. Anaya Radhito Nunam, must be these gopis had sat Narayan extremely. By which, Hari Bhagavan Hari, why Bhagavan here? Because Bhagavan has so many opulence. He can do what is possible and what is not possible, what never is possible can do that. So Krishna here, he is the owner of all Vaisarja, all opulence, what he wants he can do, what is not very possible he can do that. What he did in Rasa dance, dancing at the same time all gopis. Hari Dishara, Yarno Vihaya Govinda, Tito Jamanayadraha. Why Sukhdev Goswami, 
told Govinda, why not Damodar, Madhav, so many names of Krishna. Govinda means, who give pleasure to cow, calf, senses, mother earth, and gop and gopis, etc. Here, Govinda means, go means gopi, and go means senses. Who can give pleasure to gopi and their senses all? So he used the name Govinda. And he took him in a solitary place. And Srila Sukhudev, Vishwanathana Thakur has told, this swag not only by Sapaksha, not only by Vipaksha, not against the party, even by Sapaksha means Lolita's party. Why? Because they knew very well. They are always serving Srimati Radhika. They know what auspicious marks Radhika has. To pretend against party and others, they are telling, oh, who is that fortunate lady? To whom taking Krishna and give up us all and went to any solitary place? So they are searching. So in the searching, they enter in the forest, they saw some tulasi leaves, a tulasi plant, they are very happy. First they went to the big trees and they asked to Krishna. The trees not replied, oh, they are in male pe female uh, car, they are in male, so we are male form, we are female form. Oh, they are not caring for us. Let go forward. Then they went. Then they saw Tulasi plant. They extremely happy. They asked Tulasi. Tulasi not replied. Oh, maybe Govinda touched Tulasi. So he became very popped up. So she is not telling us anything. Let us go forward. Then they saw some deers. Aino Patni. They asked them, but they entered in the forest. They are telling, oh. He is indicating us that Krishna is going this way. Let us go forward. They are searching and in the, uh, in the other hand, Radhika told to Krishna, Radhika is going with Krishna. So to make his, we want to specify her, so he picks some flowers. And when he picks, when he picks flowers, then his complete footprint is not there. He used to, it's a little higher, so he like this only by toe. So, footprint of toe is there only. When Gopi is found, oh, it seems that Krishna picked up flower or because only sign of toe is there, it is a little higher and some fruit drop down. They must picking flower and decorate that fortunate lady. After some time, they are searching, searching. Radhika thought, oh, all the Gopis who likes me so much, like their own life and soul. How come I can be alone with Krishna? It's not fair for me. I want, which I am enjoying, which I am experiencing, they must experience the same thing. So she told to Krishna, Oh Krishna, I could not walk anymore. However you like, you can take me. But Krishna, he does not like any submissive mood. In Ras dance, in Paramar mood, if some Naika became submissive, it is not pleasing to Krishna. Krishna always like Gopi's contrary mood. So Radhika is telling, wherever you like, you can take me. That means submissive mood came to Radhika. So it is not pleasing Krishna completely. So Krishna, he thought, oh, now Radhika becomes submissive. I don't like that. In other hand, Krishna wants to supremacy of Radhika among all Gopis. So Krishna said, okay, I am sitting, you can climb on my shoulder. As soon as Krishna sitting and Radhika want to sit on, her, on his shoulder, Krishna disappeared from there. And disappeared, he hid some place close by. And Radhika, when he saw, oh, Krishna is not here, he lamenting so much. And gopis searching, searching, arrived at that point, and they found Radhika is lamenting and weeping so bitterly. Then they, she has become faint. And she became faint. And they brought some Jamuna water, sprinkle on her face and eyes, make her bring her sense back. And then Radhika told what happened. And all gopis thought, oh, if we search and see Radhika's same condition, all became sympathy towards Radhika. If they are supposed to see Radhika along with Krishna, envious mood may come up among them. But still Radhika, same condition, what condition they have as before. So now they are all lamenting for Krishna. They thought, oh, 
we should not go any more deep forest. If we go more deeper, then our soulmate, our beloved will go more deeper and deeper. It will be very painful for him. So better we can go back to Jamuna Pulim and we can start glorify to him. Why so? Once Narada is told to Bhagavan, Oh Bhagavan, where are you lives? He is not told. Nahumamta tishthami vaikunthe yogi nam hridaye nacha madhvakta jatra gayanti tatra tishthami narada Narada Bhagavan told, Naham tishthami vaikunthe I am not living in vaikuntha. Narada Prabhu, then are you living in yogi sasram? No, 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 not yogi sasram. So where are you lives? Madhvakta yatra gayanti tatra tishthami narada Where my devotee is glorifying me I always live there. Here in Bhagavad it mentioned Gayanti means plural number, means combinedly glorifying to Krishna, Krishna must be there. So they remember this Purnamasi speech. You see, they heard from Purnamasi, they went to Jamuna Pulin and they start combinedly glorifying Krishna. Jayati te thikam janamana braja sayata indira. Sasadatrahi Daita Drishatam Dikchutavaka Spaidhrita Sava Spangvichinnate Oh, thank you. So by this way, they are searching Krishna and one after another they are glorifying Krishna and became so, 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 so lamenting so much they are lamenting and weeping and glorifying Krishna. Saraduda saye sadhu jata sat sarasi jodara sri musadrisa suratana thate sulkadasika varada nignato neha king vada e nanda nanda nan jasada nanda na he damodara Hey, Sri Madhava, like one slok and them uttering Krishna's name, they are uttering by this way. And oh. it is so powerful, then this control of Krishna so easily. When Sriman Mahaprabhu was in car festival and Pratapu Govan is mercy, but Mahaprabhu not bestowing mercy directly. When Mahaprabhu was taking rest, Pratapu changing his changed his grace and went to Mahaprabhu. And when he was under guidance of Sarup Damodha and Aramananda, uttering this slow, then Mahaprabhu became extremely happy and told, Oh, give me, drink me nectar and for my years, what can I do? I am a sannasi. Only I can give embrace, I can embrace you and did embrace and Prataputta's life became successful. So, now we are asking to stop here. So, it will be better if we listen from Srila Gurudev Lotasli, then we will be more ben, uh, ben, ben, benefited. So I'm stopping here. Anything good? Or we will go to Guru Devi. If I take any false things, please excuse me. Very good. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thus, all the gopi, even against party, even now they have Sahanubhuti. Sympathy. Huh? Sympathy. Sympathy to Radhika because she was lamenting and she became faint. When they are meeting, then some jealousy. And if they see that, oh, she feels same separation are like us, then they have some sympathy. So all came, returned back to the Jamuna Pulin and they began to weep bitterly. But bitterly weeping of ladies in India, oh, like song, glory, why they are weeping? Hmm? I've heard so many ladies weeping and singing like Same that. Time. So these are weeping bitterly for the separation of Krishna. They cannot tolerate and began to weep louder. Iti pragayanta Pralapakansya chitra rurudha svasarang rajan 
Krishna Darshan Lala. To see Krishna, they began to lament and began to cry and sing. Jayati te dhikam janmana praja swarati indira swaswadatrahi daita dishata dechu sabaka tvaidhrita sava vang vichinvate he nanda nandana, he jasuda nandana, he tamodara, he simadama. Tava katha vrita, tapta jivana, karmini vrita, karma shakana. Samaramangalam Srimadatatam Bhuvigrinantite Bhuridana He nanda nandana Yasoda nandana He tamodara He simadava Can you? Jati te dhikam. Try. Are you ready? Om Ajahnam Sinarandasya Yanam Jana Savakaya Chaksur Vannavitam Yena Tasma Sri Guru Venama First I offer my unlimited obeisances and the dust of the lotus feet of my most worshipable Diksha Guru Dev, Nichalila Pravishta Om Vishnu Pad, Astotara Satasri Sriman Shiva Bhakti Vedanta Swami Prabhupada, and the same unlimited obeisances in the dust of the lotus feet of my most worshipable Shiksha Guru Dev, Om Vishnu Pad, Astotara Satasri Sriman Shiva Bhakti Vedanta Narayan Gosai Maharaj, to all of our disciplic succession and all the assembled devotees. So Srila Gurudev has ordered me to speak a few words on the gopis, gopi Geet. When Srila Gurudev was introducing this subject uh, to the English devotees, Western devotees, in the early 90s, he explained the relationship between Srimad Bhagavatam and the world, and the relationship between gopi Geet and Srimad Bhagavatam. He quoted from the first chapter of Srimad Bhagavatam, Paramat Prochchita Kai Devotara Paramo Nirmat Saranam Satam. The Srimad Bhagavatam, which is understandable only by those who are completely pure at heart, is the reality that uproots the threefold miseries. And anybody who submissively and attentively hears the Srimad Bhagavatam under proper guidance, all unwanted things disappear from his heart and he becomes fixed in love for Krishna. Now, there are nine cantos leading up to the tenth canto. And the chapters, the five chapters in relation to Rasalila are the... Um, the Panchapran, the five life heirs of Srimad Bhagavatam. And the Gopi Geet is the main pran of all the Panchaprans. So of all the chapters in the uh, Ras Pancha Jai, the five chapters in relation to Ras, Srila Gurudev said that this Gopi Geet is most important. And of all Srimad Bhagavatam, as Srila Gurudev has been speaking from the first canto, these uh, chapters about the Ras Lila is the goal of the life of all fortunate living entities. So the gopis are now on the bank of Jamuna, and they went to the bank of Jamuna rather than being in the forest, because on the bank of Jamuna, 
there's wide open space. And in that way, the beautiful sound of their voices and singing and weeping would not be obstructed and it would go far and wide. So wherever Krishna may be, he would be able to hear their song. So in the first verse, Jayati Te Dikam Janmana Brajam, the gopis are singing and weeping that, O oh, beloved, because of your birth in the land of Vrindavan, Vrindavan has become most glorious. How glorious? More glorious even than Swarga, the heavenly planets, and even more glorious than Vaikuntha. In fact, the goddess of Vaikuntha, Lakshmi Devi, has, since the time of your birth, wanting to serve you, left her own husband, Lord Narayan, and has come to Braj to engage in menial services of sweeping in all of your kunjas, all of your gullies, by the rivers, by the mountains, everywhere she's sweeping and for your glorification to make everything nice for you. So Srila Gurudev explained that actually, as we hear so many times, particularly in Brajmandal Parikrama, there's no question of Lakshmi Devi coming to Vrindavan. She's not qualified to come to Vrindavan. But the gopis are simply glorifying the beauty and opulence of Vrindavan. That's how it naturally is. So because they're the original goddess of fortune, in their mood of love and separation, they're just giving credit to the goddess of fortune. But actually, it's the nature of Vrindavan. Then in the next verse... Oh, thank you. When you took birth in this planet in Vrindavan, Braja, then himself Lakshmi and the deity of wealth, deity of all beauty, herself that Lakshmi came down to Braja, making groups very, very beautiful forest very beautiful, brooming in the in the Konja, himself, herself, brooming, this Lakshmi, and all are now rich and very beautiful, all are happy by you. But thing is that, only we are lamenting for you and we are, we will die without you. So, all are happy, but we are only unhappy. <laughs> so please come and give darshan. Bisha Jalapaya, you have protected us from Kali Hrada Bish, Bial, Agasur and others. By Indra, heavy rain, and Bhishmaya Atma, like Arishtasur, and Vishwatubhyat, and so many dangers. 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 <coughs> but why you say? If you say, then you must say now by your separation. Otherwise, we will die. And Koti koti gopiyo ka marne ka marne ka tumhara daith hone se koti koti gopiyo ka marne ka paap tumko lagega. What? And you will be guilty of the sin of killing millions of gopis. Because you are killing us. Not killing by sword, but by reason you are killing. Certainly you are not son of Jasoda. Because you are so cruel. Mother Jasoda is very, very soft hearted. Very soft. Merciful. But you very cruel. Oh, very cruel hearted. We left for you 
our children, our husband, our lok dharma, bed dharma, chastity, everything for you. And you left us. So you are very cruel. Don't be cruel. Pranatha dehinam papa karasanam. They are praying that give your hands, hands and your feet, your feet on our head, or on our breast. Krishna tell you, that I cannot do. Path will come to me. Path means? Sin. Sin. Oh. I being the son of Nanda Baba, so high class of Marjada Purusha, Prabhu, how I can do? Oh, Papa Karsanam. Oh, those who take your shelter, automatically they come across Pop, seen. How Pop will pass you? Never, never. <laughs> then Krishna told, Oh, my feet are very soft. soft. I cannot keep you. And your heart, very hard, very hard and hard. Hard or hard. I cannot. Then, oh, Tirucharanugam, you can walk, you can graze cows on hilly places, on very soft stones and here and there. And not here, our, how it can be? Then Krishna told, I am very high class of dharmic, religious person. Extremely religious I person. cannot keep my heart, uh, feet on your breast. Then gopis that Sri Niketanam. If you can keep your Lakshmi. feet in the laps of Lakshmi. Lakshmi and she is always serving, why not to me, to us? Once Lakshmi, Bhavani, wife of Shankar, and Brahmani, and Brahmani, Brahmani, Saraswati, they told their husband, we are hearing so much glory of Anusuya Devi, very chest lady. We want that you should break her chastity, break their chastity, anyhow, and go and take their <coughs> pariksha. Examination. And thus you should, uh, chastity you should take away. They were telling, oh, you don't know the power of Anushuya, his Krishna devotee. If he will go, some danger may come. But they could not tolerate their Anushuya glory. So again and again they requested. Then three went there. In disguise of Brahmin. In the cottage of Anushuya. She was alone. A three rishi had another cottage. Another cottage. So they went there and told the Bhiksham Dehi, Oh, you should give some alms. Then Anushuya came with some fruits and some things and began to give. They told her, no, in this not. You should be naked and then come to us. Then he thought, how they are? Who are they? Why they are telling? So she went to Atri. Oh, you should be here. Atri Mahasi. And asked that, oh, there are three persons coming and telling that give on or oh, being naked. Then he told, oh, don't fear. They are Brahma, Vishnu and Mahesh. Give you. She returned back and then he told, Oh, by my chastity, you should be newborn baby. Newborn baby. Just today. And come in our land. And then they at once became baby. And they were taking breast 
So many long term went, Lakshmi, Saraswati and Shivani. They were thinking, where our husbands have gone and not, not is still returned? Then Narada Rishi came there and he told that he has gone to cheat on Suya and he has cheated been by them and now they are baby and taking milk of Anushuya Devi. Then they become very well. And they took the form of a Brahmini and they went there. And when they went to the door of Anushuya, Anushuya said, Who are you? Oh, we are your. Oh, what you want? Oh, we want something. Who are you? We are your daughter-in-law. How daughter-in-law? <laughs> my son is too small. I not marry my son now. <laughs> then they told that return back our husband. <laughs> Without our husband, how we can? Be? Then she kindly get them Brahma, Vishnu, Mahesh, but their answer, Expansion. manifestation. Yeah was uh, where with Anusuya. and they were Brahma became Chandrama Brahma like moon and Vishnu became Dattatreya Vishnu Dattatreya, Dattatreya she became Durvasa. and Durvasa he became and still they are with them so now here Si Niketanam for that reason now Lakshmi never gets up Krishna feet, uh, Narayan feet, anywhere, anywhere. So Narayan is you. So never living. So if you give your feet in, in the laps of Lakshmi Devi, why not to us? And then Sri Oh, my. Feet are very, very soft and soft. But your breast is burning hmm? like top. I cannot. Oh, Pranarpitam, you have kept your feet on the hoods of snakes. They are nothing. And here, so, so common. So they, Krishna were defeated by the gopis, by these arguments. And then, Tava Katham Ritam Tapta Jeevanam. You are ready. Try. Om Jnana Timirandasya Jnana Jnana Shalakana Chakshuru Tasmai Sri Gurave Namaha. So now the Braja Gopis, in continuation of their songs of separation called Gopi Geet, they are expressing all their inner heart's moods to Krishna. But their words are also uh, taken directly and also with hidden meanings. Srila Vishwanath Chakravarti Thakur, he has revealed so many of these hidden meanings behind the words of the gopis, because in their, in their transcendental anger, their man against Krishna, so sometimes they're also blaming Krishna, accusing Krishna, calling him cheater and so forth. But in actuality, all of their words are glorifications of Krishna still. So this verse, Tavakatam Ritam, Tavakatam Ritam Tapta Jeevanam, Kavipir Editam, Srimad Kalmashapaham, Shravana Mangalam, Srimadapat Atatam, Bhuvi Grananti J, Burita Jana. So here the gopis are saying, Tavakatam Ritam Tapta Jeevanam. Your transcendental narrations, your Krishna-katha, which are descriptions of your beauty 
your qualities, your names, your pastimes. It is all nectar, amritam, tavakatamritam. And by hearing this, all the jiva souls, all the living beings within this world, tapta jivanam, they are all suffering from endless miseries of wandering in the cycle of birth and death. So they're, all of their suffering, it becomes completely destroyed by this transcendental nectar of your narrations. Kavibir uh, iditam kalmashapaham. The greatest personalities, the kavis, the poets, they go here and there narrating all your transcendental uh, pastimes and qualities and names. And they shower this nectar upon all the suffering jivas. And what happens? Kalmashapaham. All of their previous contaminations from sinful activities for many, many lifetimes, uh, they become completely destroyed. All stages of karma, uh, all prarabdha, aprarabdha, guta, bij, everything becomes destroyed. This nectar is so powerful. The, not like the, uh, the attainment of heavenly planets even, or the attainment even of Brahmananda. Because there, if someone attains the heavenly planets, still his lusty desires, they become... Uh, they, they continue to go on, and as a result of that, he still again has to take birth, and again he has to suffer. <laughs> so the attainment of heavenly planets is nothing in comparison to this nectar of your katha. Or what to speak of Brahmananda, there also, there is no actual transcendental bliss enjoyed by the soul. But this nectar, Kavatatam Ritam, it awards one the highest, Srimad Atatam. It gives one the greatest wealth, and what is that? It gives one Krishna Prem. So, Kavibir Yiditam, Kalmashapaham, Shavana Mangalam, Srimad Atatam. This hearing process of your transcendental narrations is supremely auspicious. Shravanam Mangalam. And Srimad Atatam, it gives one the greatest attainment of Krishna Prem. So, all those divine personalities who are completely immersed in relishing this nectar of your narrations, they wander here and there in this world. Oh, narrating this to the jiva souls, really, they are buridajana. They are the most uh, generous personalities, most generous personalities. They are helping the jiva souls like anything. So this is the one meaning of this verse taken directly, but the gopis also have embedded their moods within their words. And Srila Vishnu Chakravarti Thakur is explaining that. He's saying, Tava katam mritam. Here, the word mritam, kata mritam. Mritam means death. So the gopis, they are saying that your kata, the narrations of your transcendental activities, it causes death to persons. What kind of death? Oh, that now, after hearing these narrations, now they will constantly be suffering and just practically in, uh, on the verge of death from severe separation mood. If these narrations are not accompanied by the vision, the transcendental vision of you, like now, we are here and we are lamenting in intense separation mood from you, so this vision is not, this uh, remembrance of your pastimes is not accompanied by your vision. Therefore, what is the result of this kata? Mritam. Only it brings death. Tavakatam mritam tapta jivanam. And it causes constant suffering and pain. Just like now we are feeling this pain and agony, intolerable separation, moods from you. So this is the result of this kata. Uh, and here it is telling that the persons who are blinded, Srimad means wealth also. Those persons who are blinded by wealth, in other words, materialistic persons, oh, they organize so many uh, festivals of Harikata with, by spending lavishly here and there. But what is the result? The, the result of that is that people come, they become attracted to this, 
and then as a result of becoming attracted to your Harikata, now they cannot any longer be in this material world and enjoy with family and friends and so forth. Now they give up their miserable household life and they wander to Vrindavan. And there in Vrindavan, what do they become? They become like birds. They become like the animals wandering here and there, like beggars, only begging, begging. So in this way, the Braja Gopis, they express their moods of intense separation from Krishna, but actually their words were also simultaneously a glorification of Krishna. So this is the beauty of this uh, divine songs of the Gopis, Gopi Gini. What is that? Weeping bitterly and singing. Oh, there are so many things, but we have no time. Our time has been finished. If Krishna will give time, we can explain something. So, they were weeping, and at once Krishna. Tasam Abhibhut Sauri. Oh, Krishna appeared. How? He was somewhat smiling. Shanti Tambar in there, he is like he had done some offense. And he came at once nearer to Gopi. Some Gopi, hearing, seeing this, they took. Krishna feet in their laps, some hands on his head, some so many ways, and some far, far away, they were Shooting. by their eyes. Shooting to Krishna. What? Shooting Krishna. Shooting Krishna. Hmm? Who was those who were taking in the laps? Oh, Chandravali. Uh, Chandravali, Padma, Sabya, like these handles. Some thought. Sohit also like some, you know, and Srimati Radhika and Lalita Visakha were from far away. Oh, they are shooting Krishna. Oh, you are so cruel that you have left us. And then, oh, when they give, uh, they make a seat for Krishna. They are Uttariya. Uttariya. It was colored with kumkum of the gopis, and they made seat for Krishna. All gopis, oh, it will be so high, so one Group. class of gopi, one, second, third, like this. And Krishna sat on them, hmm, on each. But they saw, oh, Krishna is sitting in my person, not other. Everyone saw that Krishna is sitting there. Then gopis asked Krishna, smiling, Oh, we have some question to you. We know that in this world there are several cause of person. Anyone, someone, if he loves, another also loves. If he has pain, he has pain. There are some persons. Whether there is no pain, but they do pain. And there are some also that whether you do pain or not, they don't have any pain. Among three, who are you? You are who? In, in that what category? Then Krishna is being told, I am none of them. First, those who do prem, extend your prem, extend your prem. Uh, uh, against prem, they are businessmen. Their prem is not prem. No suhid there. Really, that not prem. And those who do prem, whether anyone is doing prem or not, but they are doing. Their father, mother, and especially Guru more than that, Father, Mother also, and you are among them, hmm? no one in this world. And those who have loved,
but he has no love, whether you are loving or not, he is neutral. neutral. There are four kinds. Atmaram, Atmakam, Akritagya, Guru Drohi. What Atkam? Who has no any desire? Like Sukhdev Goswami has no desire. But I am not that. If I have Atkam, then why I call you by four floor? So I am not Atkam. Then Atma, Atma Ram. Atma Ram. I am not Atma Ram. Because my Atma is Radhika. And I always playing with Radhika. Uh, with her. So I am not Atta, Atma Ram. I only please, uh, become happy with Radhika. And then Akritagya. Akritagya means? Ungrateful. 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 I am not ungrateful. Hmm? If I was ungrateful, how I, I have come here now again? Why I called you? Hmm? And again I am here with you. Hmm? I was always with you. Hmm? But you could not show me. So I am not ungrateful. And Guru Drohi are two kinds. Without any reason and with reason. Like father and mother has become old and they are cautious. <coughs> and that son, oh, go out of room. My children are... Could not sleep. Cannot sleep. This is a reason. And there are some without reason. Hmm? But I am not among them. Who are you? Then Krishna told that, Oh, to increase your eagerness, I have done this. I was hearing all that you were singing, everything. I was not far away. Only to increase your Love. Love and affection, that is should go more and more. I was hiding himself and following you. So I was not. And then Krishna told, Napareham nirvadya sanjuja. I cannot repay you. You have given up everything for me. Your husband, chastity. Oh, you have across the uh, order of your superiors, in all respect you have. But I cannot give up. I cannot give Nanda Baba, Jasoda, and other devotees. Je jathang maam prapadyante tam tathavyabhaya. If I am not doing, I cannot, I cannot be with you, like you. You have left everything, but I cannot leave anyone. So please be. If I will take birth like Brahma what day, even I cannot repay you. Please, you should be happy. By your virtue, you should be pleased. Then gopis told me that, oh, you have accepted that you cannot repay. By this word, you, we are all ready. In this way, this was a ross, and again they began to dance, and in the end they told, Vikriditam Prajpaduhi Dhancha Vishnu Sabdhanito Anushaniyata Tabarne Yedaja Bhaktim Param Patilakyatam Vridaroga Masum Api Hinatache. If anyone will hear this sweet past times of Krishna by his Guru, serving his Guru, and hearing from him, and then if he will explain to others, and those who are really a strong faith, and they will hear always, repeatedly, their 
Krishna Prem, we will come in their, their heart. And after that, what become? Oh, they are all lust, Hridaya Ro, Anath also goes away. This is the lust purport of this whole Rosh Lila. In this way, whole Brahma one day, uh, one night went on. Now Gopi did not want to give up Krishna. But by Jeyog Maya, all their husbands saw that the all gopis are with us. Jeyog Maya had made their forms and went Gopi there with Krishna. And when they returned back, they saw that, oh, my wife is here. So did not what, do envy to them. Go Prima. appreciation for all the uh, service that has been done here, but first of all, I would like to offer my most humble obeisances unto my Diksha Guru, Pila Esi Bhaktivedanta Swami Prabhupada, and also to my most worshipful and beloved Pila Gurudev, my Diksha Guru, Bhaktivedanta Narayan Goswami Maharaj, and also to all the Vaishnavas present here, Vaishnavas and Vaishnavis. So I have been asked to speak some words of appreciation and of course um, all those who have been instrument here in the festival have been inst an instrument in Srila Gurudev's hands. We are not independent. We are only doing anything or capable of doing anything if we have the mercy and empowerment of Srila Gurudev. So our first obligation is to recognize that and make a sincere and utmost effort to be qualified disciples for Srila Prabhupada and 